body shape Mr. Raymond Humphreys got you covered all the way A little fitness training is not the only thing you need With motivation and meal prep you'll succeed With fitness evolution With train array 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 hey hey everybody how y'all doing welcome to fitness evolution with train array today on a saturday at 12 o'clock noon it's a nice, pretty day outside. You know, I don't know what everybody else is looking like, but it's a pretty day here in Mississippi. But, uh, you know, um, considering the fact of what's going on, you know, with all the COVID-19 and people have to stay in the houses and keep their mask on, you know, it, it's a pretty day, you know, other than that. But uh, today, you know, I want to talk about staying healthy during COVID-19 because, even though we have the, the the pandemic or whatever the case may be, uh, with the COVID nineteen or Corona, or whatever you want to call it, we still have to stay healthy. We still got to stay in some kind of shape because it's easy to get out of uh, out of routine, especially if you haven't been going to the weight room, if you haven't been exercising regularly, if you haven't been eating right because. People sit around and can't do too much. They want to sit around and eat, and that's a big problem because that's how most people gain their weight. But at the same time, you know, while I'm talking today, if anybody that's listening, if you have a question or a comment or if you have an idea or you want to tell somebody how you stay in shape during the COVID-19, feel free to one, and I'll bring you in to conversate about whatever you may have a question about or how you're staying in shape during the COVID-19 or what you're doing to stay in shape or how you uh, taking care of yourself during this epidemic. Uh, just remember, press one and I'll bring you in. But uh, at the same time, you know, exercise is the key to a lot of factors in life, and especially when you're sitting at home and don't really have anything to do. And it, it, it gets, at uh, certain times or certain points, it gets uh, boring when you're sitting at home and, don't really want to be out and about around a bunch of people. You know, I know they tell you to put your mask on, but, you know, some people are not biting by that rule. You know, some people don't want to do that. Some people go places still sneezing and, and and whatever else around other folks, you know, and having parties and being around a group of people. I mean, people put the mask on around their ears and stuff under their neck, but ain't nobody putting them over their face. You know, I, I was in one place, and they was like, you got to wear the mask correctly just to even come to the building. So, if you didn't have it over your nose and your mouth, they weren't letting you in the building. You still had to wear it correct, and that that's right. It should be like that. And a lot of things is people need to – I want everybody that's paying attention and listening to really pay attention because we should have been social distancing and covering up and sneezing the right way for a long time for colds and flus, but it takes an epidemic like this to make people understand that this is a serious thing. But – it's all good. It's neither here nor there. You know, stay prayed up, and God's going to take care of his own. Now, staying in shape during the COVID-19 is a real, real big thing because you don't want to get in the house and be bored to death, TV all day, or sit around and eat all day because you're going to gain some weight. And some people are scared to go out to the gym. Some people are scared to go outside and work out because they worried about social distancing and uh, worried about catching something. But I still feel that you can get out and do some things, even with the mask on. You know, it's kind of hard probably to breathe a little bit, especially if you ain't got the right mask on. It's kind of hard to breathe when you're working out. But it's good to cover yourself and take care of yourself. But it, do something. Stay in shape. Stay in, uh, in some kind of physical shape. Watch a meal plan. Watch your dieting because – you get in the house, and sometimes when people just stuck in the house, they eat anything, any and everything. So we have to be cautious of still, even being in this situation, we still got to be cautious of how we eat or what we eat because 
you you can sit in this house and be eating a little bit of wrong, uh, all the wrong things and then mess up and, and come up with some kind of illness or some kind of situation. So so we uh we gotta understand we gotta understand that we have to stay in some kind of shape in order for us to stay healthy during this COVID nineteen and exercising, you know, um, if you got some weights at the house, some dumbbells, barbells, if you got some small barbells, some dumbbells, hand weights or something, if you if you just sitting around a chair, just do some curls, some tricep extension, do some uh most people don't do dip, do some wall push ups. You don't have to be sitting down, you don't have to be doing them on the ground. Some people don't realize you don't have to lay on the ground and do push, especially if you're not capable or old enough or not old enough but able to get up and down like most people are able to get up and down and do push ups. So do wall push ups. Wall push ups are just it's not you don't need much weight anyway. You just need something to kinda of condition yourself to get the muscles moving, get the blood flowing through the body. And squats, do regular squats. For older people, if you got older people within your household or people that you are uh listening to uh taking care of or whatever the case may be, you know, if you got people around your house, older people, have them do different things like squats, sit up and down in chairs, and something that's going to cause them to keep their muscles moving because older people are the ones that tend to get out of structure sometimes. So we want to make sure that we are taking care of our older people and taking care of ourselves and taking care of our children. You know, my grandbaby, he likes to be, Active, he likes to be running. He runs back and forth in the house all day. So you know, me, I'm like, shoot, take him outside, let him go and burn that energy. Keep that, keep him active, keep him moving around. Don't just sit him in the house to get lazy. You know, sometimes we get complacent, just giving these kids these video games and tablets so they can sit around the house and do nothing all day, and that's not um, doing anything for the child, making them lazy to me. You know what I'm saying? It's we need to start making sure our kids are active, make sure our elderly, elderly adults are active, make sure we are active as far as exercising, and eating right, and doing the right things. But uh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want you to think that it has to be strict, 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 like we got to be on a constant, complete. Uh, I, I don't believe in taking a whole bunch of stuff out of diets in a way. I'm more of a Eat small meals. I think that's the big key towards everybody. Most people don't want to eat uh, small meals. They just want to eat one meal a day and think it's okay, or three big meals and think it's okay and think they're going to get in the shape they want to get in, especially with the COVID-19 moving around. You know, people ain't able to move around like they want to or used to. So we want to make sure that we keep doing the right things and taking care of ourselves. And exercise is the key to everything. Staying healthy during the COVID-19 is a big factor because we have to make sure that we're doing the right thing to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves. Um, but, you know, before you really get into any bunch of exercise, you're supposed to consult your doctor first to make sure that it's okay for you to work out. So always consult your doctor first to make sure that you are supposed to be working out or what exercise you can and can't do because, I don't want you to get in there and hurt yourself, being that you don't have any supervision. Now, mind you, if you do need supervision, you can always contact me. We can go Skype. We can do whatever. And if I have to get on video with you to do these exercises, I'm with that. So all you have to do is just let me know. Uh, you know, today is a good day for people to be outside doing some exercises. It's been raining a little bit here. I know they got storms brewing out there off, off the coast and different places, so people just got to be cautious and be careful. But, you know, the rain's coming into different places, and we have to make sure we maintain and doing the right things and staying healthy, even though regardless of the weather, regardless of the COVID-19, regardless of life in general. Because sometimes people will allow, allow life to uh, stop us or hinder us from getting in shape to where we're supposed to be. You know, impeding our fitness efforts. So we want to make sure that we are doing the right things to make sure we stay in shape. Now, again, if we have any 
uh, people that's listening that would like to call in, just call, just press one, and we can answer any and all questions that you may have. Uh, if you'd like to call in, the show is always the number is 347-826-9424. You can always call in. We can talk, chat about whatever you like to talk and chat about uh, on Saturdays is my weekend days to where I talk about fitness. So um, we want to talk about today, like I said, getting into shape, staying in shape for during the COVID-19. And people allowing the COVID-19 to scare them because that's why a lot of people are staying at home. Some people... You know, they can't really, uh, don't want to really be in and out because they're worried about the COVID-19. But sometimes we have to learn that um, we still got to stay in shape regardless of the situation. Gyms are opening. You know, gyms are opening in certain places. You know, they open here. But uh, you, the, the distance between, you know, every other machine, which is good because it gives you the opportunity still to work out and stay in shape. And some people take advantage of that, you know. Me, myself, I've been taking advantage of going to the gym, uh, trying to stay in shape, trying to keep myself in, in shape because I'm not trying to see myself go down in any way, shape, form, or fashion. So I make sure I try to eat what I need to eat, make sure I'm maintaining my health, make sure I'm exercising regularly because that's a key to a lot of things that people are not realizing. So, um, you know, try to stay in shape. If you have to sit around the house, like I said, if you just sit there in a chair and you're watching TV, get you some dumbbells, get you some small dumbbells. Some people don't have dumbbells, and I'm not telling you you have to go buy none. Use water bottles. Water bottles ain't, don't weigh in much. It, it's simple stuff you can use at home. Use a water bottle. Take them and, and curl them. Hold them beside your chair. Curl your arms up and down. Uh, hold them over your head. Let your arms fall back behind your head during a tricep extension and just straighten your arm all the way up. Raise the bottle straight directly in front of you or to the side of you, which will help work your shoulders. Then up, do some squats. Put your hand, if you can't balance yourself, good, get a chair. Place your hands on the back of the chair and squat down, up and down with the uh, chair in front of you to hold your balance so you don't fall because I don't want anybody to injure themselves during these exercises. So exercise, there's always another way to make sure you're safe during these exercises. So always do what you have to do to maintain your exercise and stay in shape. Now, people uh, may not know how to work out, may not have a workout clue. Now, you can always look it up on YouTube or go to some of these exercise channels or you can contact me or you can contact a trainer in your area. You know, you can contact me at 662-368-2152. Uh, you can hit me on my uh, email at fitnessevolution350 at yahoo.com. Or, you know, you can contact any trainer in your area. If you're not in my area and you want to talk to somebody about exercise and uh, uh, structure, how to do something uh, correctly, don't don't be afraid to ask because I'd rather you do it right than to hurt yourself. You know, be out there, be at home and hurt yourself. And you can't really get back into to work out like you want to because you hurt yourself or injured yourself. Now you got to go to the hospital. So I want to make sure and make it clear that you can always ask for help and never be ashamed to ask for help. Some people are ashamed to ask for help. Some people are overweight, so they're scared to go in the gym because they worry about how people are going to talk about them. If I have an overweight client or somebody that needs to lose some weight, I always tell them these people that's in the gym had to start somewhere. Everybody in the gym that looks fit didn't always start fit. Some of them might have started fit. They ain't never had a weight on them in their life, but some that have. But what you got to do is you got to understand they had to start somewhere too. And it ain't just people want to always hear, I want to wait to get in the gym until I lose weight first. Doesn't make sense. If you're going to lose weight, go to the gym so you're going to start losing weight. Why wait to lose weight to go to the gym? So just go to the gym and start losing weight, doing the right things you got to do, like eating right and whatever the case may be. So we got to make sure that everything is is, is right. Now, uh, be, be, always be cautious and always remember safety first. Safe position where you feel that 
or exercise is hurting you, if you feel any pain, any kind of um, aches or pains while you're doing these exercises, please stop. Don't continue to do them because you could be injuring yourself and not realizing it. Then you continue to work out doing that exercise, and it could get worse and worse and worse, and then there's a problem. So I always be mindful of safety first. So if you feel any pain, if you're hurt any kind of way, shape, form, or fashion, uh, feel free to stop exercising and tell somebody. Come talk to somebody about it. You can talk to me. Uh, ask me why you're feeling pain in a certain area when you do a certain exercise. You know, I might have to Skype you or something to see if you're doing it right or watch how you were doing it. Or maybe you can ask me to show your exercise. It doesn't matter. I'll Skype you or FaceTime you or whatever the case may be so we can get this exercise right because I want to make sure you know if you're doing it right or wrong. I'd rather you do it right than to be worried about doing it wrong. So I always remember that there's always somebody out there to help you. Make sure the intentions are good because you got some trainers out there that they'll help you, but they won't help you unless you're paying them. You got some trainers that won't help you unless you're putting some money in their pocket. So I'm not like that. Me, if you got a question, we can talk about it anytime you want to. I ain't got no problem with it. But um, just remember that, you know, fitness is a key factor in a lot of health issues these days. And if a person really wanted to uh, – Stay in shape, you know, they, they have to, to get stay away from these ailments because there's a lot of ailments out here in the world that, that people are getting, catching, starting to get, you know, uh, and, and they wait to the last minute to start doing something about it. When the doctor pops and tells you all the time, look, you need to start working out, or you're going to do this, or you're going to do that. So people need to start taking heed to these things because the doctor isn't just talking for their health. They're trying to help you get to where you need to be to make sure that you don't get into a certain situation that you're not going to like and have to deal with in the long run. Now, um, uh, anybody right now have any questions or concerns or need to talk about something, please feel free to press 1, and I will bring you in and we can ask or talk about any question that you may have. Fitness is what I do. Fitness is what I love. So anybody got any questions or concerns, please call in or press one. Now, make sure your nutrition is good, too. You know, some people now, and I, and I know that a lot of stuff in the stores now, the prices have gone up a lot and tremendously because people, because of the COVID-19, people are out of work. The truck's not moving like they should. They're not getting as much product in. So stores are trying to compensate for what they're losing as far as what they're buying, and they're trying to make money off of it. So they, they increase their prices. You know, somebody was talking to me the other day that they bought a half a ham. They used to be like $13, $15. Now they're $30 for a whole half a ham, and that's very expensive. And I know it's getting higher and higher to really eat. So what we need to do is start looking around what we got in the house and shop cheap. If you can find, you know, a lot of people don't realize chicken is cheap, but like I said, prices are raising, but if you can catch it cheap, get you some, because chicken is cheap sometimes, you know, seafood is going to be expensive, so if you're a big seafood fan, sometimes hey, you might have to just cut away from seafood, and not worry about it right now, because seafood is expensive, and we want to make sure that, you know, we can maintain and not have to spend a whole bunch of money, and, and to be honest, dieting or meal planning is what people call it, is expensive. I'm not gonna lie to you, it is expensive. You have to really spend some money in order to eat right, in order to keep your health right. And I know it's hard, but sometimes that's what you have to do. But I know right now, at, at this time, it's really high and expensive because everybody raising their prices. So just be cautious and, and try to find you some deals or sales somewhere. I'm not telling you go out here and spend no thirty dollars for no whole half a ham. I'm not telling you to go out here and spend a uh, whole bunch of money to buy no seafood, but I am telling you to do what you can to help maintain your healthy way of life, your healthy eating, and because it's very crucial, very important. But, uh, you know, today is a good day. It depends on where you are. You know, it might be raining in some places. If you got a treadmill at home, hey, put your treadmill in front of the TV and watch TV and watch it. Walk the treadmill. Most people do in the gym anyway. That's why I got the TV so people can watch TV and walk on treadmills or 
you know, if you if you have a nice day at home, go outside, go take a walk, walk around the block, do something different, put your mask on, just see the area, see what people other people see, you know what I'm saying? Go out and uh, just walk, do something, you know, get yourself back in shape or get in two shape because all it takes is just a little bit. Don't take a whole bunch. It just takes a little bit. A walk a day is good. A walk every other day is good. You know, and you're eating right. Your eating habits got to be every day. So some people think it's just some days, you know, certain days they eat bad. No, it don't work like that. If you're going to eat right, you need to eat right all the time. Cause eating right is the key. But, you know, um, start going outside. Start, start doing simple walks back and forth to the mailbox. Walk around the block. Uh, walk around your neighborhood. Go to the mall and walk. Some people go in the mall and walk. You know, just walk up and down the aisle. And, and you ain't got to go buy nothing. Don't even take your purse with you. Just go in there and walk. That way, hey, you take enough money with you if you need to go buy something to drink. If you don't bring no water with you, you know, go in there and uh, get you something to drink or put you on some nice tennis shoes. Don't walk around the mall. And do something uh, different, you know, something you get away from the house. That way it's not, you're not just sitting up in the house all the time. You can always have that option, you know, go to the parks, go do whatever, if your parks are open, man. You know, some places they might not be open yet. And if they have any classes you think you can get in, and they're practicing social distancing, you know, go ahead and join you some classes, you know. Um, it would be great if anybody have any ideas that they might want me to do some classes online or, you know, some uh, app classes online or something, please let me know. Um I'm willing to help in and everybody make sure we maintain and stay in some kind of shape. But, you know, just remember, stay healthy, stay in shape during this COVID-19 because it's very important. Don't lose focus. Some people are already losing focus, going crazy because they have to stay in the house. But like I said, change up your routine. Go to the mall. If you're not working, go to the mall and walk the mall. You ain't got to take no money with you. Just walk around, walk up and down the aisles or do different things, something to get you active and move around, you know. Keep your kids active. Don't allow your kids to just sit around the house because that's, that's going to be a problem. We don't want our kids to be lazy. We want our kids to be active so they don't start gaining weight. They don't start getting into having bad health issues. So we want to start making sure our kids are being active out here in the world, uh, especially during this time of COVID-19. So let's let's start practicing healthier life, healthier way of life. Let's start practicing a healthy lifestyle because a healthy lifestyle is a better lifestyle and it helps you to maintain and be able to survive different ailments because you're doing something about it. You're exercising. You're taking control of your well-being and that's what you want to do is take control of your well-being. So, you know, one thing I can tell you for sure is life is too short to be uh, running around thinking that life is too short to be running around thinking that you can just uh, be just sitting around eating what you want and not exercising, not taking care of yourself, not doing healthy things in life, you know. So we want to make sure that we are exercising and taking care of ourselves because life is too short. Life is too, too short. Now, like I said, there's many variable of uh, different exercises you can do at home. Don't be afraid to ask. Don't worry about trying to get in the floor, do a push-up, do a wall push-up. Don't worry about trying to do a squat without standing against the wall or with a chair. If you can't hold your balance, use a chair. Nothing, nothing wrong with using a chair. Doing lunges, hold on to the back of a chair. There's nothing wrong with that. Doing dips. Be careful doing dips. Don't worry about doing that too much because if you don't have something to balance the back end of your chair, you may fall. So don't do that. Tricep extensions, bicep curls. You can use canned goods. You can use water bottles. You can use anything that might have some weight on it. If you think it has some weight, something it ain't got to be no heavy weight, just something that got a little weight on it is enough to get your muscles active. And really, truly, you can do calisthenics or uh, what we call static resistance from muscles without having to use any weight. Just take your towel, take that towel in your hand, pull it tight from right to left, 
Take your right hand, pull it to the right. Take your left hand, pull it to the left. Keeping that towel tight. Hold it straight down in front of you and do curls. Keep a resistance on the bicep. So you really don't have to have anything with some weight. You just have to have the muscles active and the blood flowing. Muscles active and blood flowing. So don't be afraid to ask questions if you have any questions. Because if you, I'd rather you ask me a question to get it right than to not ask me and get it wrong. You know, and then you sit here listening to me, and you be like, well, I blame him because I didn't really know how to do it, and he told me to do this, and I hurt myself. No. Just so you know, please contact a trainer or a doctor or whoever before you start any exercise. Talk to a trainer first if you have to, to make sure you're on the right track if you're not in the right area. If you're not in the area with me, you can contact me if you are going to uh, make sure that you are taking care of yourself and doing what you're supposed to do because exercise is the key and very important. So we want to make sure that you're doing everything right and not hurting yourself at the same time. Just know every Saturday around this time, around 12 o'clock, I do this show. I talk about fitness. Uh, If you have any questions, concerns, or any thoughts that you might have that you want to talk about something on the fitness day, if you have a, a a topic that you would like to talk about on the fitness day, you can email me at fitnessevolution three five zero yahoo dot com. Any fitness question that you may have uh, uh, about anything, exercise, dieting, whatever, meal planning, whatever. If you need somebody in your area, if I mean, if I know somebody in your area, I can direct you to. I know some guys that teach other things like boxing, and I teach a little boxing, but I got some guys that actually do boxing, has done boxing in the ring some MMA fighting. So I got some guys that I can send you to if you need somebody that you want to learn those type of things. So uh, sometimes it's good to know somebody that knows somebody. So if you have any questions, concerns, or need somebody to talk to, please feel free to contact me. You can call me at 662-368-2152, or you can hit me on my email at fitnessevolution350 at yahoo.com. Uh, and uh, you can contact me at any time, and I'll talk with you, chat with you, send you to whoever I know in your area, whether it's Texas, here. You know, I know some people that might be able to help you with certain things, so feel free to contact me at any given time. And I'm always here on third Saturdays at 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock noon. If you want to contact me on the show, which is 347 826 if you have any questions or concerns or want to make a comment, you can press 1. I bring you. So just remember that uh, life is too short to be sitting around not doing anything with your life, especially with the COVID-19 going on. Make sure you're taking care of yourself, eating right and exercising because it's a big key factor in your life right now. And shop safely. Shop, you know, be careful uh, when you're buying certain products. Be careful out here in the streets. You know, everybody wearing masks. And people, you never know who might walk up on you and do something dumb. So I always be cautious of people walking around. So, uh, just remember, this is Trainer Ray, Fitness Evolution with Trainer Ray, talking about any fitness need that you may need. Like I said, you can call me at 662-368-2152. You can hit me on my email at fitnessevolution350 at yahoo.com. Also, you can go to my website, which is fitnessevolutionllc.com. And you can contact me at any given time. Again, this is Fitness Evolution with Trainer Ray. Always be safe. I hear y'all take care of yourself. Eat right, exercise, stay in shape. Do something to keep yourself in some kind of physical shape because you never know when you might need it. And in order to prevent a certain ailment from uh, coming on about in your body. So, again, this is Trainer Ray. Fitness Evolution. This is Fitness Evolution with Trainer Ray. Thank y'all for joining me today, and I am out. <laughs>